In a previous video, the ESP32 was programmed as a web server, communicating with the web browser, and at each communication, the web page had to be refreshed, which is not an efficient client-server interaction. In this video, the ESP32 is programmed again as a web server, but this time using Ajax web technology. Ajax makes it possible to update parts of a web page without reloading the whole page. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. The term asynchronous means that JavaScript is used to send and receive data without page refresh. XML is the format of the data which is sent from the client, the web browser, to the server. Using AJAX, we can create better, faster, and more interactive web applications. Let's have a closer look at the ESP client-server model. On the client side, we enter a URL on the web browser, and the client will send a GET command to request the web page from the server. The server will reply with the HTTP version 1.1 by sending the web page to the client. Now the client has the web page. The web page will request some data from the server. This is called the AJAX request. And the server will reply by sending the data to the web page. And this is called the AJAX response. This two-way communication is asynchronous, meaning that the web page is not refreshed. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have a potentiometer connected to one of the analog inputs of the ESP32 which is programmed as a web server to display this web page on a browser. The web page contains a title and the variable value of the potentiometer which ranges between 0 and 4095. There's also a, a button here, Help. When clicked, it will display this message. And now for a quick demo, noting that the web page is not refreshed when the pot value is updated. A quick look at the C++ sketch. This part of the sketch was uh, explained in previous videos, so here I will just focus on the HTML side of the code. Uh, I've included two header files, one for the web page, which, is, which contains the HTML code, and the other header file contains the handle functions, which are these. This handle function will send the web page to the web browser, while this one will send the pot value data. Let's have a look at the web page code. We start with the style tags, which contain the CSS part of the code. This is the card class CSS, which gives us this card shape here. And within the card class, we can determine the width, the height of the card, the background color, the font color, the font type, and some other attributes of the card. Inside the body tags, we have division tags. Now, the division tags enables us to uh, display information in one area of our page. So here, for example, this division is focused on the card class. It means that any of these HTML commands will reflect inside this card. This HTML command within the H1 tags will display for us this title here. And within the H2 tags, we have this command. Here we have a text pot value, which will be displayed here. And we have span tags. Now the span tags are similar to the division, but they are inline. And the letters focus on one specific area of the web page. Here we are focusing on this uh, uh, text here which will have a color of yellow, and it will have an ID of called pot value, which will then be referenced within a JavaScript code. Within the H4 tags, we have the button tags to give us this button here. Now, when this button is clicked, 
this uh, JavaScript function will be called to perform some action. We also have within the H4 tags division tags which will operate on this area here and the ID of this uh, area is my division which will then be manipulated and referenced within a JavaScript code. The JavaScript code is contained within the script tags and here this function set interval this is a built-in JavaScript function that will execute the body every t seconds in this case every two seconds so this function will call this function repeatedly every two seconds the purpose of function get pot value is to enable the web browser to fetch data from the server using Ajax method inside the function we first declare this uh, variable pot value request which will be assigned to a new instance of the uh, function XML HTTP request. This function XML HTTP request is a tool within the browser which will enable the browser to request data from the server using uh, XML HTTP. After the client makes a request from the server through the variable pot value request, then the server will reply with on ready state change to the pot value request and when this happens this function is executed now this function the first thing we do is to check whether the response is okay in terms of ready state level 4 and that the status is 200 once the response from the server is okay then the response text which is the pot value data will be copied into this uh, parameter pot value through the statement so now here pot value which contains the uh, returned uh, text value from the server will reflect on this area and we will see it on the web page here through the statement uh, the variable pot value request will open a connection between the client and the server using the get method and then pot value will send this request to the server. Finally, function help is executed whenever we click on this uh, help button, which displays this message. When we click again, the message disappears. In a future video, the ESP32 microcontroller will be programmed as a web server using modern web technologies, namely WebSockets and JSON. Thank you for watching.